do what he said he would do, which is use his power um, to reflect the will of his constituents. And, you know, I, I can't, I'm not sure if I can share a screen, but you know, this is an example of a meeting in June 6, 2016, where uh, uh, Commissioner, Council Member, excuse me, McDuffie was, was present and asked for a vote through the ANCs about this property, this Divinity School, the Howard Divinity School, and a unanimous showing. There were about 100 community members there. The vote on the record was unanimous that no new development should take place on the HUSD property. This is a historic, historic space um, for the Howard students, for the community, um, and it's been zoned institutional for hundreds of years. It hasn't been changed for a reason, and you know now uh, it's up to uh, some. You know, developers and some law firms have submitted plans to rezone it, and the community has asked that it not be rezoned, of course. And so that's uh, that's up to um, Council Member, Member McDuffie um, to to weigh in on that requested rezoning. And it's a simple, the simple, uh, clear answer has been no. Um, and so we, the, the Howard East neighbors, I mean. It's just such a great group of people. It's a historic, you know, there's a long legacy of, of, of organization in this neighborhood. And I've been so blessed to be embraced by these folks um, when I moved here. And it was like, the, it's all that anybody's talking about in the area. You have to be tone deaf not to know about this um, and to really show up for this. And so a letter was sent um, and there's been no response um, from Council Member McDuffie's office um, was sent earlier this month asking for um, for him to confirm that he will be um, rejecting those proposed amendments to the comp plan um, so again this is an, this is part of a, I'd love to hear I'd love to turn it over to Rashid Hughes if, if he's on who is a student leader at, at Howard um, and an alumnus of the Divinity School to say a few words about what, what they've been doing and the help that they need. Um, Thank good you. evening, everyone. And I'm, um, I'm really, really um, happy to be able to just share a little bit about the importance of, of why we're here today. Um, as, a, as an alumni, um, I just want to name that, um, you know, this, this piece of land was sacred. It is sacred. You know, it's a, it's a sacred space for, for undergraduate students, but also black graduate students and alumni and their families. Not just for students, but their families as well. You know, when I was a student there, and, and I actually lived on the property while studying there for three years, I lived there. We had pride in the land. Um, we learned about the history of the building, um, and we understood that where we were studying and where we were living and learning um, was a, a, a place of, of, that was sacred. Um, we learned about those who had walked the halls before us and we felt a connection to those who, who sat in the chairs before, the, before us and taught us. Um, and we also learned about um, the lineage of the Franciscan order, um, the monks who had inhabited the land and the space for years prior to Howard. Um, so as you know, as an alumni, um, you know, I, I would often return to the land to participate in, in ongoing uh, current activities, but also to to sometimes speak to the students, the current students provide, you know, we would often provide professional coaching to the students who were there, um, as many of us had graduated and started our careers. Um, and then most importantly, it was a place where we could go to to contemplate and to find a sense of solace. So this this space was wasn't just a building on a pretty piece of land that had green grass, but it was a it was a place that was sacred where many of us would return for hope and for inspiration. Um, so I, I I think about as I close, I think about how 
you know, many people make make trips to Mecca, some to Jerusalem, some to Egypt, some to Tibet. For black students, whether you graduated from HUSD or, or went to another divinity school in the area, we would return to this place. So whenever I pass this land now, you know, I I kind of I kind of just say a breath prayer of gratitude for all the seeds that were planted there for me during the time when I was studying and had the privilege to be on the land. And I hope the students in the future um, will also be able to benefit from the land just like I was able to. So 